Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 square root of x to be equal to 2x. Now, some persons will make a mistake to call this the 4th root of x. Now, this is not 4th root of x, but 4 root x. Now, look at how you write 4th root of x. Okay, 4th root of x will be written like this. And this is not the same thing as what we have over there, right? So, we are not using this. So, we have 4 root x to be equal to 2x. And then, what are we expected to do? Divide by 4, divide by 4. This will go with this. And then, square root of x is equal to 1 over 2x. Because 2 will go here one time, and it goes here two times. If we continue with this, then square root of x is equal to x over 2. Because 1 times x is x. Now, the next point is to take the square root of both sides, right? Then this will be squared. This and this will go. Now, our x is equal to x squared over 2 squared. Because the square here is for both the numerator and the denominator. x is equal to x squared over 4. Cross multiply so that x squared will be equal to 4x. Now, what can I do from here? Bring this to the left. Because if I cancel this and I cancel one of these, it's going to be wrong. So, x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. And this means that we can factor out x because it's common. We have 1x over there and here we have 4. This is now equal to 0. Right? Apply your 0 product rule. It is either x is equal to 0 or what we have in the bracket x minus 4 is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 or x minus okay x will be equal to 0 plus 4 this is what we have right so x remains 0 here or x is equal to 4 therefore we have x to be 0 or 4 now Look at the original equation. We have 4 root x equal to 2x, right? If you put 0 in here, it's going to be 4 times 0, and it will also be equal to 2 times 0. Okay? But then, what if I put 4 in here? It's going to be 4 root 4 equal to 2 times 4, because x is 4 now. Now, this will be 4 times 2, which is okay, which is equal to 4 times 2, or 2 times 4 will give 8, right? And this is equally 8, which is equal to 8. And then this is to confirm that um, x is equal to 0 is satisfying the equation, and then x to be equal to 4 also satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.